Hi folks, back again. Uh, Bathrobe Chronicles number 200. And actually, I'm in a pretty darn good mood uh, right now, tonight. Um, I, uh, for those of you who didn't see the ones from last night, I uh, posted uh, two last night. And basically what it was is, uh, the ones last night, is I had a bunch of really unpleasant complaints or comments or what have you on a segment I did on Reiki, you know, the old energy healing. And I was just sitting here thinking about that. Uh, in, in fact, last night I, I left out some stuff and I didn't really follow my notes and there were other things I wanted to say and I didn't. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, I got all hot <laughs> on this energy healing stuff. And boy, do I have a story to tell you. Now, for those of you who don't know, basically what energy healing is, you may have heard of Reiki, you may have heard of therapeutic touch, you may have heard of quantum healing, body talk. It, there's like a million of them out there. And what is similar is they all claim that we have universal life energy flowing through us, and they normally say they're channels, and I think they come up with 12 somehow. Other ones throw in chakras and, you know, crap like that. But the whole idea is that if there's any blockages anywhere, that then that can exacerbate uh, illnesses that you have uh, or cause problems. And what they claim is that they can uh, unblock these things and get that energy flowing again interesting thing about Reiki, if I remember correctly, is that there's unlimited energy. I mean, you can just lay hands on or whatever and just shoot so much energy in there so one of the people don't explode or something. Reiki also claims they can do it remotely or do distance healing. Now, what am I working up to? <laughs> okay. Here's what I'm working up to. This just popped in my mind and and I'm going to toot my own horn for a second, be a little more grandiose than usual. I didn't go to the internet and look this up because I think it's fixed in my pea brain forever. So, where am I going to start? Uh, for the, uh, if any of you have watched some of my videos, uh, I have some that are about a job I used to have that I just quit in November. And... Uh, my job required that I spend a lot of time in hospitals. And most of the time that was spent was spent in the emergency rooms. And uh, did get on the medical units, surgical units, but primarily in the emergency rooms. And over 18 plus years, I'm going to turn the air conditioner up a little bit. Over 18 plus years, I've met like a jillion nurses. And boy, do I have the highest respect for nurses. Uh, and in fact, many of them are just really special people. Uh, they're just, as a group, just special people. They really are. And what they have to put up with and what they have to see, uh, they're just absolutely terrific people. Now, with that being said, I'm gonna talk about nurses. Uh, about 10 or 12 years or so ago, I, I, I can't remember, it, it, I would say within the past 15 years for sure. And I'm pretty sure the state is uh, uh, Colorado. Now the rest of the story I'm going to be pretty accurate on, and uh, if my old brain will remember all this stuff. And what was happening is there's something called therapeutic touch that primarily is aimed at nurses. And yes, this is energy healing, if you can believe that. And yes, these uh, men and women are RNs, registered nurses. And to be a registered nurse, there's some nursing schools, and I believe that they may have like a two-year program or 18-month program or what have you. A lot of nurses uh, get an actual bachelor's degree, a four-year degree, and are, you know, get, get their nursing credentials that way. In fact, I was talking to someone the other day who said locally, uh, one of our local hospitals is really pushing to uh, have only nurses who have four-year degrees, not nurses who have 
nursing school only, even though I would imagine the major difference is that the nursing school is all the nursing stuff, and of course the bachelor's degree, you know, has the English and math, and, you know, whatever else. But anyway, I'm getting off the subject here. So what happened 10 or 12 years or so ago? And I'm pretty sure it was in Colorado. Anyway, this nurse was really ticked off at uh, the whatever the Board of Nursing is called in Colorado, Colorado Board of Nursing, Colorado Nursing Association. I don't know if it was a state agency or a nursing association. And I can't remember specifically what her complaint was about. I don't know if her complaint was that they were offering CEUs, uh, continuing education units that all nurses have to have so many of each year, uh, in therapeutic touch or or what, but she was really ticked off about this therapeutic touch. And she was, you know, raising hat with the nursing board or, or the nursing association, I don't remember which, excuse me. So her daughter, what a memory, Emily Rosa, R-O-S-A, who I believe was nine years old at the time, evidently was overhearing some of this stuff from her mom about the therapeutic touch and the nurses and she's ticked off and all this other stuff. Uh, let me back up. I don't know if I told you, this was invented, that's my word, uh, this therapeutic touch uh, by a couple of nurses who I believe were teaching at a prestigious nursing school, I believe in New York City. I could be wrong about that and I surely don't remember their names. But uh, it's also my understanding that there are 40 thousand, and this was maybe five or six or seven years ago, at that time supposedly there were about 40,000 nurses who had been trained in this therapeutic touch. So, now what is therapeutic touch? Ironically, uh, if I remember correctly, you don't even touch people. You lay them out and you run your hands over top of them like this. Supposedly, the therapeutic touch people can tell, you know, if there's some blockages and all this other kind of stuff. And they un they may use the term, and I don't know this to be true, unruffling or something. I don't know. And then they, you know, they clear all the blockages and, hey, you know, you're ready to roll again. You're ready to get with it. So that is, in essence, what therapeutic touch is. And as I said, you don't actually touch. It's just over the body. So this lady in Colorado, Emily's mom, was really ticked off. It just so happened, <clears throat> excuse me, that Emily needed a science project for school. Keep in mind, Emily at that time was nine or ten. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it was nine or ten. This a little kid. So what her science project was, and I'm sure Pete, <laughs> if he doesn't already know everything about this, will look this up and make sure I'm pretty close. Anyway, <clears throat> what her project was, this is a nine or 10 year old young lady. She wanted to test therapeutic touch. Now, as I best remember, what she did is she gathered 21 experts, if you will, in therapeutic touch. These were seasoned professionals, if you will. And uh, she had a sheet of plywood, I believe, you know, four by eight or whatever it is. And she had holes cut in it, as I remember. Pete, make sure I'm straight on this one. So what the therapeutic touch practitioners, all they had to do, as I best remember, is to determine not how much energy you have or any of that other baloney, but whether there's a human being back there, you know. And as I remember, uh, what, what Emily did is I believe there was a coin toss or something to decide this, that, or the other, you know, to try and add some randomness or what have you to the experiment or trial, whatever you want to call it. But as I best remember, uh, Emily or someone would, would have a hand underneath one of the holes. And all the person had to do, now keep in mind, therapeutic touch people to say they can figure out, you know, whether your energy is high or low or whatever the heck's going on and all of that. All they had to do was say whether there was a human being there. In other words, as I best remember, and I know I'm repeating myself, uh, there would be a hand under one place or the other, or what have you. 
the therapeutic touch people put their hands through from the other side of the, of the uh, plywood to determine if there's a person there. I'm pretty sure I'm correct on this. Okay, what's the long and the short of all this? If I'm talking about it, obviously it didn't work. Uh, and, but here's the clincher. Nine-year-old kid, 10-year-old kid, Emily Rosa, her experiment was published in the acronym is JAMA, J-A-M-A, -A, the Journal of the American Medical Association. I believe that that and the New England Journal of Medicine, they're the two most prestigious medical journals, I think, that we have in the United States. This was published there in the Journal of the American Medical Association. And uh, of course there was a huge uproar. <laughs> Oh, you shouldn't publish something from a nine-year-old. And of course, what they said was, yes, this is the only nine-year-old we've published, as I remember, uh, but we, we publish on, 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 on the information we're given. In other words, if, if this was a properly conducted test, there's no reason not to publish it just because a nine-year-old uh, was the one who did it. So, and as I said, I was in kind of a good mood tonight because I really liked all the nice comments that uh, folks left on the ones from last night. And of course, this is an energy healing thing. And it, 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 it's, it's absolutely amazing. In other words, supposedly there are 40,000 or more nurses trained, trained to do this. And of course, it's just like the Reiki. It's just like all the other stuff, the body talk, and on and on and on, and all these other things. And here's this kid, nine years old, ten years old, evidently heard her mom being all ticked off about this stuff, designed this experiment for a, I don't know, what grade are you in when you're nine years old? I mean, aren't you in some kind of grammar school or something? And uh, here are all these nurses all over the country, you know, flopping their hands all over people and everything else, being trained to do this and being given uh, Ed, uh, educational units to maintain their nursing license. And as I said, I have the greatest respect for nurses. Hey, I married one. <laughs> Shouldn't have told you that, but anyway. Uh, well, let me rephrase that. I was married to one. <laughs> That's another whole story. But, uh, and, and, you know, we're, we're supposed to be an advanced country, an advanced civilization, or whatever you want to call it, but yet we have people walking around flopping their hands and saying they're healing you. Yeah, I know I ragged on this last night about the Reiki, but it's all the same crap. Just all the same stuff, just got a different name on it. Can you imagine going in a hospital? You're laid out there, you know, tubes and stuff hanging all in you and out of you and then, you know, bags hanging and somebody comes in and starts going like this. Anyway, for some reason I couldn't resist this one and I've only wasted about 15 minutes of your time and I thought you might find this interesting that here is this modality, I love that word, uh, dreamed up, for lack of a better term, by two nurses. I think they both had PhDs, or whatever that's worth. And that over 40,000 nurses have been trained in. And here's this nine-year-old child, this 10-year-old child, who, like, you know, what's that term? Smacked them down or something. I'm not sure what that term is. But yeah, it's like a therapeutic touch smackdown. I mean, this little nine-year-old kid. So anyway, I don't know if you guys will enjoy this one or not, but uh, uh, I, I, I hope it's been kind of comical, except for the fact that it's pretty sad that uh, our professional nurses all throughout the country are involved in this stuff. Oh well, if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great evening, and I hope you have as much fun listening to this as I had making it, because other than the fact that it's pretty pathetic that, that we do things like this in this society, it's all kind of funny that the old therapeutic touch nurses got the smackdown 
from the nine-year-old child. You ladies have a good evening, and gentlemen, and as Pat Condell would say, peace, folks, peace. Thanks for watching. Bye.